Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to first thank Opportunity Nation and CFED for convening everyone here today, but also for allowing me to be a part of such an important issue. As mentioned, my name is Jamira Burley, and um, yes, I am a recent graduate of Temple University, so the Owls is my alma mater. Um, and as mentioned, I am the executive director for the City of Philadelphia's Youth Commission, which would make me, at 24, the youngest executive director for the City of Philadelphia. For those who may not know, the Philadelphia Youth Commission is comprised of 21 young people between the ages of 12 to 23 that advise the mayor and city council on issues that impact nearly the 600,000 young people in Philadelphia under the age of 25. Now, I stand here before you um, as a young person who not that long ago can be considered one of the 54% of young people in the United States living in a household of either um, impoverished or low income. That changed in May of 2012 when I became the first of 16 children to graduate from high school and college. But that, was, um, but that, that path was not an easy one. I come from a drug and violent infected community where for many, making it out was either death or prison. I grew up watching both of my parents and all 10 of my older brothers become repeat ex offenders. So when I was 17 years old, two years after the murder of my 20 year old brother Andre, and two years the murder conviction of my father for a separate crime, I knew that I could um, do more and I wanted more. With the help of a mentor, I started to believe that a college degree was a possibility for me, even though none of my predecessors had achieved it before. And I must say, um, I applied and I got in. But for many who may think that applying to college is hard, that for me was actually the easy part. Um, after the congratulations and the acceptance letters came in, paying for college became all too consuming. I, unlike many of my peers, was actually pretty lucky. I was able to receive a few scholarships and I was able to work full time through the School District of Philadelphia um, to help supplement um, college costs. And I was able to graduate, yes, um, with debt, um, but much less than many of my peers. Um, or should I say for many of my peers who were able to graduate. The number one reason why young people drop out of college is for lack of funds, which is all too much of a reality for me then as it is now considering the um, population of young people I work with. Through my years in school, I watched as many of my friends and my peers drop out of school and lose the battle with financial aid because neither they nor their parents knew how to cope with the financial costs that will come with paying for college. Who is mostly affected by this phenomenon? low income and first generational students, first generation students. Only one in 10 will graduate before the age of 24 and some never will. So if we ask ourselves, what is the type of world that we wish to create? One that is flourishing, productive and safe. We know we can't get there until we allow and we make sure that every young person has the potential to fulfill their, to the, the, um, the possibility of fulfilling their full potential. And as a society or as a globe, I guess you can say, that values a college education, we know they can't get there without a degree. So this is why I think it is imperative. Um, imperative that the American Dream Account Act is passed in Congress because it will allow parents and students to get ahead of the financial responsibility early in their child's life. It would also make sure that parents and students become financially knowledgeable about the options that are available to them. This bill, has the ability to recreate an environment that is not just a college-going culture, but really a college-graduating culture. Because as mentioned earlier, we know that young people are four times more likely than their peers to graduate from college if they have savings already dedicated to them before starting. The late Malcolm X once said, that education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. So if we don't start today, what does that say not only for the future of young people, but also the future of this country? I don't know about you, but I am not going to wait around to find out. If it can be done, it should be done. Thank you.